Father, we are grateful for this day. Bring us together for this prayer session. As we look at your word and pray, we ask that our prayer will get the attention of heaven, that we will persist in prayer until we prevail in every life circumstances. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Anything that challenge you, challenge it in prayer. And there is solution to every problem. We have a story of a man in the Bible who had a peculiar challenge in his life. He had been cheated. He also cheated. And he continued in that circumstance, in that situation. Almost he, he had or two, he had children, he had wife, but the problem persisted. And he contacted God in prayer, and God intervened. And so we are calling upon God this day, based on this word, and as we do, God will hear us. In Genesis chapter 32, I'm going to read verse 24. We'll always look at the word to be the basis of the prayer we are presenting before the Lord. In Genesis chapter 32, verse 24. And Jacob was left alone. Sometimes it is necessary to be left alone so we can reflect on our lives and pray accordingly. Jacob was left alone. And there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. All throughout the night, he was traveling. He was wrestling. And this translates to us as New Testament believers, praying, persisting in prayer. Look at this in verse 25. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh. And the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. As Jacob was wrestling with this heavenly visitor, his holo, the holo of the tire of Jacob, got out of place. He got injured, sort of. Look at verse 26. And he said, let me go for the day break it. Here's the angel saying, let me go. The day has broken. Men must not see me. I'm a visitor from heaven, but he said. And he said, I will not let you go, except you will bless me. There comes a time that we are put out all distraction, and then we are here praying and persisting, saying, I will not let you go, except and unless and until you, you bless me. And so we are coming to a point in our life where we say all issues concerning our life, the Lord must attend to them. We we'll pray and persist and keep praying until God answers our prayer. You know, see, the acronyms I give to the word prayer is this. P is to persist in prayer. Persist. Keep praying and praying until one God answers you. I will not let you go except you bless me. The art in prayer, the acronyms of prayer, is rely on prayer. There is nothing else you can do to get the attention of God as mighty, as effective as you can do in prayer. When we pray, God gives attention. So rely on this weapon of prayer. It will work for you in the name of Jesus Christ. A in prayer is agonize in prayer. Don't pray sleeping. Don't pray dozing. Pray and agonize. Pray fervently. He said, I will not let you go except you bless me. Why in prayer is to yield to the spirit of prayer. Sometimes you feel weak. Sometimes it seems you should not pray, but you know you have to pray because the problem still persists. As long as the problem is there, we must persist in the prayer. If the problem persists, you must persist in prayer until there is divine solution to every challenge on our way. And so we must put on, we must yield to the spirit, to the attitude, to the power, to the, to the challenge from inside of us to pray. And this prayer is the key because prayer is that connection be between the woman and the divine. And then when God sees that we are persistent in prayer, that we rely on praying on him, not relying on charms of some other powers here and there. But that we agonize in prayer, we yield to the spirit of prayer. Even when we feel weak and tired, we keep praying. He will answer our prayer. We will pray to prayer. Look at verse 20. Verse 26. Again, and he said, let me go for the day break it. And he said, I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. Verse 27. And he said unto him, what is thy name? The angel asked him, what is thy name? And he said, Jacob. You know, there was a time someone had asked him before, what is thy name? He said, Esau. He told the lie to get the blessing of Esau. He told the lie to get the first, the first, the backslide of the firstborn. He told lie to get blessed by Isaac. 
but he couldn't tell lie to get blessed by the angel. He couldn't tell, tell lie to get blessed by God. And so that deception, that lies of the past, he will have to acknowledge the past, the fact that I have told a lie. I told a lie to get what I thought is a blessing from Isaac, but it never stood. The blessing never stood because it was a blessing gotten on the premises of lie. If you are deceptive, if you are telling lies, if you are going from one place to the other telling lies, you cannot be blessed. And that is why we know that at this time, he must admit that it's not Esau, it's Jacob. He must tell the truth and say to the angel and say to the Almighty God, I want you to bless me, but I must admit what I am. I am Jacob. What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And that's why you will need to repent of your past lies. You will need to repent of your past sins. You will need to make some necessary restitution. If you do in, indeed intend that God will hear you. Look at it in verse 28. And he said, thy name shall be no more called Jacob. If you know the meaning of Jacob. Jacob means a cheat. Ja Jacob means a supplanter. And here he is, he has lived in that life. Cheated his brother. To get a supposed blessing that never stood. And in turn, many people cheated him. His father-in-law cheated him. He wanted to marry Rachel. They gave him the other one, Leah. And then after cheating, he said, walk again for another seven years. He was being cheated. What he saw, he was reaping. But when he repented now, God bless him, look at it again. He said, thy name shall be no more called Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince, thou have power with God. How, does he, how did he get his power with God? And then he had a power with men and has prevailed. How did he get his power with God and with men and prevail? In prayer. You will have to pray if you must be powerful. You will have to pray if you must prevail. You will have to pray if you must, you must be a champion in this world. The world is a dangerous place. The world is ruled by prince, the prince of this world, the devil in the world. The princes, Pharisees, and powers, powers that be in the world. And if you must prevail in the midst of this troublous world, you must be given to prayer. You must be committed to prayer. You must persist in prayer. You must rely on prayer. You must agonize in prayer. You must yield to the spirit of prayer. It is as you do this praying and you pray and pray and pray, we will prevail. There is something that makes me come into your presence, my helper. We're praying now. There is something that makes me come into your presence, my helper, my helper, oh, my helper, my helper, oh. My helper, oh yeah, oh, there is something that makes me come into your presence, my helper. We are coming to the presence of the Lord with desire in our heart to receive. And so we are praying and we are calling upon him that all the problems of our life that seems to have entangled us and have, we have been entangled into issues. We told lies and things have come over and over against us. But this Jacob is calling upon God. This young man is calling upon God. This young lady listening to me is calling upon God. This person watching this video is calling upon God and saying, Almighty God, in my life intervene. Open your mouth and talk to God. In my life intervene. In my family intervene. The cheating, the robbery of my life must stop. I repent of my past lies. I repent of my past dishonesty. Now I'm ready to walk with you. I'm ready to be what you want, to, what, want me to be. I will now say the truth and live by the truth. And the Lord will help you. In Jesus name we pray. If you are praying, say amen. You're going to pray, Lord, pour upon me the spirit of prayer. Pour upon me the spirit of prayer. The attitude to pray. The passion to pray. The grace to pray. The gift to pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every witness in prayer, I cast you away. Every willingness in prayer, I cast you away. I will pray until I pray.
prevail. I will pray on you that I prevail. I'm praying now and ask God every form of distraction. Whenever you are praying, that is that comes to distract you. I cut off distraction. I cut off distraction. Sometimes you have to separate from friends to pray. Sometimes you have to separate from families to pray. Sometimes you have to separate from people that are close to you to pray. And we're waiting on God in prayer. As you pray, there will be intervention. As you pray, there will be divine intervention. In every matter that concerns you, begin to ask God, give me the prayer. The grace of prayer and prayer and pray. And persist in prayer until I pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Admit before God now. Father, I admit my error. I accept my lie. I know I've told lies before. I know I've sinned before. I know I've cheated before. I've robbed brothers. I've robbed sisters. Have mercy upon me. Grant me the grace of this grace to lie no more. To sin no more. To cheat no more. To commit sin no more. To do that that will not please you. Open your mouth and pray. Admit your errors. Admit your faults. Admit your lies. Say your true name. I am Jacob. I am not Esau. I am Jacob. I am not Esau. So I need not cheat my brother, and I will not be cheated in life again. In Jesus' name, we pray. If you are there, say amen. We are going to pray, Father. All men that have cheated me in life in time past, because of my cheating others, now that I've repented and I'm no longer going to cheat, and as much as you enable me, I will do my restitution. All those that have cheated me, grant them repentant heart. Open your mouth and pray. I will not be cheated any longer. God will give me my life and my rightful place will be given over to me. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus name we pray. We are going to pray and say, Lord, change my name. Change my nature. Change me from a sinner to a saint. Change me from a cheat to a Christian. Change me from a rebel to an obedient child of God. Great change me and help me to make necessary changes. To make necessary restitution. And settle with all men. And begin to live in holiness and righteousness with you all the days of my life. To begin to live in holiness and righteousness with you all the days of my life. In Jesus name we pray. Finally, like the angel, the, like Jacob cried and told God, bless me, except you bless me, I will not let you go. Can you ask God today, except you bless me, I will not let you go. Bless me and bless me indeed. Bless me and bless me indeed. Bless me and bless me indeed. Bless me beyond measure. Let me no more sorrow, no more sorrow, no more sadness, no more agony, no more regret. In the name of Jesus Christ, the he saw that has been angry against me before, there will be peace between me and them. In the name of Jesus Christ, let me be blessed and blessed richly. In Jesus' name we pray. If you are praying, say amen. We're going to pray together now. Father, we come believing, saying to you that we know you alone can help us. And we bring all the avalanche of problems to you to say, wipe them away in Jesus' name. Where we've told lies, where we have sinned, where we have done evil, where we have done that that we know is evil, we admit our errors, we admit our sins, we admit our wrong, and we cry to you in your mercy. You will forgive everyone crying for forgiveness and grace this day in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be a change. They were sinners before, turn them to saints now. They were cheats before, turn them to true Christian, believing Christian, practicing Christian, who lives in holiness and righteousness for the rest of their days in Jesus' name. I pray all the cheating against their life will stop. All those that have robbed them of their right will stop. In the name of Jesus Christ. And everyone from this day, you will bless us beyond measure. You will bless us indeed. You will bless us abundantly. And we shall rejoice and remain in this blessing. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.